Welcome back to Crystal Clear! I'm Oshrek Vox, and with the Steven Universe movie, a lot of people have been asking one question. Is this movie canon? How great of an impact will it have on the plot of the entire series? Will the events of these films shape the future of Steven Universe? Did I leave the stove on? Alright, so that's more than one question, but they're all under the same idea. A question and idea I want to provide an answer for today. Taking a look at just how canon Steven Universe the movie will be. Right off the bat, we need to establish what is and isn't canon with the Steven Universe franchise. The term filler is frequently thrown around with a lot of cartoons that have an overarching story, but the term actually stems from anime. Most of the popular anime you see, aka shonen anime, are actually adapted from a manga, and apologies if you already know all of this stuff. I just need to make sure we're all on the same page. To ensure the anime wouldn't catch up with the manga, the filler technique was implemented, stretching out scenes, adding brand new scenes, and creating full-blown own brand new storylines that have no bearing on the bigger story, but ideally are still fun to watch and you can get something out of it. So when it came to binging anime, fans who were just trying to binge and catch up generally wanted to get a feel for when and how much filler is in a series. The episodes that don't matter and weren't a part of the author's original vision, things that weren't found in the source material, quickly became deemed as not worth watching. So when western cartoons began to delve into overarching stories, telling one big plotline from day one, any episode that didn't provide lore wasn't really as exciting, also began to be labeled as filler. There's no source material, there's no original vision they're deterring from, it just doesn't advance the plot. So when you have things like Steven Universe, the term filler can be a bit confusing. A lot of the episodes in Steven Universe that don't advance the plot serve to parallel the bigger arcs anyways. They all gave Steven the proper experience to handle the diamonds. And some things people may initially suspect as filler become a bigger part of the story, like the Watermelon Stevens. Fans of an animated series can still be pretty unforgiving if an episode doesn't live up to the expectation of delivering more lore or directly advancing the narrative. Then there's everything that orbits around Steven Universe as a show. The comics, the video games, the graphic novels. Are they canon? Well, a few years back, executive producer of Steven Universe and creator of OKKO, Ian Jones Cordy, gave a little bit more clarification, classifying the comics and video games as level 2 canon. As in, they're canon unless they Readily contradict the show. So the first run of comics, the mobile app game Attack the Light, and its console sequel Save the Light were all considered level 2 canon. However, Rebecca Sugar later then retconned the video game Save the Light as just normal canon. It happened, it existed, the events in that game really transpired. Which makes sense as Save the Light's antagonist Hesonite was the commander of a character in Steven Universe, Centipedal, or Nephrite. Hesonite herself being name dropped in the episode Lecture to Homeworld. However, in recent months, Ian Jones Cordy labeled the newest TV Universe comics by Kaboom as non-canon instead of level 2 canon, as the crew universe nor Rebecca Sugar had direct input or consultation with the stories told in those issues. This brings us to the TV Universe movie, because just like all the aforementioned, the comics, the graphic novels, the video games, it's kind of assumed this movie will have a self-contained story, and that whatever happens in it won't directly impact the rest of the series. However, I personally changed my own tune on this recently after the announcement of the movie's cast. The inclusion of the diamonds in every crystal gem more or less informs us that this will take place after Change Your Mind, but also speaks to me on a deeper level. The inclusion of all of these characters means that they will tell a pretty powerful story, one that will be essential viewing for the show. I've said this many times by now, but Change Your Mind was the end of Rebecca Sugar's original outline for the show's story, meaning that Change Your Mind was effectively going to be the end. So, what happened? Well, I believe in the timeline of production, the idea of a movie came up first. I'm thinking plans of this would have started in 2015, 2016. After Change Your Mind, the crew universe went to a little bit of hiatus and staffed to fund members exclusively for the film. It's possible during production of the film itself, Cartoon Network approached Rebecca Sugar with the idea of renewing CV Universe for more, or she was just flat out informed, hey, we picked up more episodes, get ready to work on both the show and the movie at the exact same time. But this would have been after the story for the film was already conceived. The story had been written as another possible ending for Steven Universe. If we don't end at Change Your Mind, we can end at the movie. Which means that Steven Universe will have potentially three conclusive endings, and then whatever actual ending when the show finally comes to a close. Which likely means when it comes to this film, all bets are off. Anything could happen, and the nature of Steven and the 
Crystal Gems could change in a very huge way, and that the upcoming sixth season and anything else that could follow will pick up after the movie. That whatever happens in this film will be the building blocks for everything else. So to answer the question, how canon will Steven Universe the movie be? How important is it to the series? Very. This could have been our last hurrah, which means maybe they will go out of their way to tie up every loose end. Or at least some of the bigger questions we've been wondering, like the mural that appeared in Sirius Steven, or was inside the treasure chest in Lion's Mane, which we did another video on that should already be out by the time this is up, and if it is, and you haven't watched it already, go check it out. It's possible this film could change everything we know about Steven, introduce some crazy big new change that they have to stick with. What I'm about to bring up is something I feel like I've talked about a lot on this channel in recent weeks, but it kind of reminds me of Kim Possible's So The Drama, a TV movie that was written as a final episode of the show. For all intents and purposes, it was the series finale. But due to popular fan demand, they brought it back for one more final season. This final season following through with everything they did in that movie. Any romantic pairings, any major new upgrades, any villains ended up in prison by the end of the film. All of it was kept canon, all of it was piled up on, and all of it was awesome. So when it comes to the story of Steven, I think not only are we going to get something massive, but something that can completely change the show forever. But as always, these are just my thoughts and I want to hear yours. What do you think? How how important do you think Steve Universe the movie will be to the series? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below or tweet your thoughts at Vids. And for more of my own thoughts, you can find me at Austric Thoughts. We're also on Instagram. Special thanks to Art with Coda for creating an awesome thumbnail. For more of his wonderful art, you can find him on Tumblr and Instagram at Art with Coda and subscribe to his YouTube channel. Link down below in the description. Help learn to a girl by either becoming a member of this channel or supporting us over at Patreon. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please start a like and subscribe to the roundtable for more great cartoon content. Thank you for watching and I hope you have an awesome day. Ashok Vox, signing out.